Starting up. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I honestly do not know, and it's very just like, why? No, it really does not make any sense, and it's... Oh, you know, it's... Oh, it's... All right, um... One second here... Um, the... going into my stuff here. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me double check. Do videos. I've got no removal request, so I absolutely can't strike or anything, but it's like. I might have to just re-upload this to YouTube, or just keep going and re-upload, I don't know. I might have to do that because, uh, because I was watching YouTube, suddenly this copyright ended. I, I don't know. I don't, I honestly just do not know, that's, then again, this game has been played by everybody, so. What the fuck? Like, what the hell? What? Lawsuit algorithm. I, I, I don't get what's going on. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to complain about this, because that, that should not have happened. So I can't play, I can't play a video game without getting hit. Like, yeah, this did happen to Cressy, didn't it? Yeah, it happened to Cressy uh, a while ago. And she didn't do anything. Like... What was in her content that was... We don't know. Yeah, what? They took it off. Uh, let me... Man, fuck the U2. Let me just... Uh, go in and see if I can... Restart. Um, not that I care at this moment. Um, well, I guess we should have to go without them, and just I'll just have to I'll, I'll just have to upload, re-upload. That's the best I can do. All right, so um. You can't monetize this live stream, blah blah blah, blah. I mean, we are. Turn to YouTube Studio. Um, looking for, uh, 
Mm. Mm. Victor Hugo Games subscribed to me. It's a big YouTuber. Um, yeah, I can't. <sighs> great. That is just great. Um. God damn YouTube. They always got to ruin everyone's fun. In this video, I'll show you how to set Yeah, don't show me nothing, YouTube. There's nothing you can show me. Um, let's see. I'm going to try and contain my anger. Even mm -hmm. going through the terms of service, like, there's nothing in this game that violated anything. It's only just a game with content that pretty much everybody uses. Uh, let's see. Upload the count. Yada, yada, yada. Da, 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 da. Content at any time. You also have the option to make a copy of the content for me. Uh, Remove a content that YouTube version. Again! This violates nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Going through their, I'm just going through their stuff. Like my stuff has violated nothing. Um. Uh, it's gone, Cartoon King. They removed it. From the stream, it's not like removed from like my DVR, but it's removed from the stream. So I'm gonna have to continue here, guys, on Twitch. So whatever. All right, well, let's continue. Screw it. I'll just, I will just upload the rest later. Nothing I can do. Okay, so. As good as I can make it. Anybody watching this, sorry if the stream got cut, but we are going to continue on. If you're watching this now, you can watch this on the uh, DVR version. Just they decided to take out the video, so we're going to go here. How you doing, Rex? You've been a good boy. So, you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? We have. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Maybe we should tell you about Morrigan and her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. All right. Now, will you tell us about this ritual? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. Is that why the joining is so secretive? If only such secrecy were unnecessary and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. Uh. 
The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyava with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Those who survive? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Big ass goblin. Child, had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. If you don't, he'll kill you. I am sorry. But the he joining just is ran. not yet complete. He it wouldn't have mattered who had to kill him. You are called upon to right, submit yourself. That's the point. When you submit yourself, you have to. Otherwise, good. you're dead anyway. Because you're not From allowed to even know about forth, this. You are a Grey Warden. Dude, this is gonna hurt like a bitch. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? I still you can't believe dreams? you. I had well, terrible yeah, you pulled a knife on him at that joining. point. Of course, Such you're dreams kill come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That it's a villain. Many other things can be explained huh? in the months to come. This guy's a villain. Before I forget, there Why? is one last part. killed somebody, pulled a knife on him. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Dude was just he. Something to remind us. 
of them. The fact he tricks people into this. He shit. didn't trick anybody. He told you what was gonna happen. Well, no, the guy even said if he had known, he wouldn't have... Ready, That's the I'd point, like and what did David said, would you have come if you had known? The whole point is, you're, once you join them, your life is done. You've already forfeited your life. That's why I said you don't have to come if you don't want to. You chose, but when you do, your life is over. Their life, your life belongs to them. So you have the option, just like I had the... I could have stayed with my parents, but I didn't. And if I didn't, he has every right to kill me. That's the whole point of this. This isn't something that you could just join in on and walk out of. Because the moment you do, your life is theirs. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Obviously, you took no pleasure in killing them, but you can't leave. That's not the point. You cannot leave this. Also, can I level myself up now? I see a... Uh, why is it giving me a level up sign? How or charge? Okay, that must be a... Oh, no, 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 I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's uh, here. So where you coming says, so this shit is a cult. No, it's more like no, it's more it's just an order, like like the Jedi. Or like the Sith. Some Except, people argue the Jedi and Sith are cults. You can argue anything you want. Alright, I'll be right back. Koya is a towel. He is a towel. He is a towel. No, I don't wanna join now. Like, then you shouldn't have fucking came here! <laughs> Ugh. He didn't have- he didn't have main character probably just- <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we have to get started. Logan, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kalen. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the young lord from High Ever I met earlier. I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine, speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Major. trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's not a traitor. You heard the plan. 
You no, and that's not what they're buying the at all. Of Ishal okay. And ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the king's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn. Exciting or no? I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress of Arthur Renegold, I'm drawing the line. <laughs> Darkspawn or no? I think I'd like to see that. For you, maybe. But it has to be a pretty dress. <laughs> the tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. So when do we light the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Well, can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. All right. <laughs> then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, I have Alistair approved. Okay, so we're not. There's definitely more strength base, so there's some strength. But yeah, I just. I know that's fucked up. They don't tell you, like, oh, yeah, you're going to be drinking this and you could die from it. Like, that's that's I, literally because their order's secret. And if everybody knew, then everybody would be doing it, and then nobody, then they wouldn't even have a damn order. That's literally the point. They're not supposed to They should to at tell least you. let you know, like, when... But no, what they, least... what they tell you is that be prepared. Once you do this, your life is over. That should be a warning enough. If I tell you, hey, when you come with us, know that your regular life and everything you know is over. And what, and what we're going to go through is not normal. You don't have to come, but just know that, what you're getting yourself into, okay? And they say, yes, unless they can script you. If they can script you, then then fine, but they normally don't do that unless, like, they really, really have to. Like I said, even even, Devin, even when we were in the wilds, you said, maybe you shouldn't have left your wife then. It was like, well, no, I want to go, I want to fight. So if you go to war, you're gonna you're expecting to die anyway. Oh, so now you get now you get the option to desert. You don't get that option for wardens. You either join or you die, or don't join at all. All right, all right. You know, the, the, oh, oh, okay. well, and by the way, again, he pulled the sword out on him. So now you're asking to die. That's probably what, when I said I couldn't believe he could, like that was the option when I said I couldn't believe he killed Drubs. That didn't want to do it, but he, dude pulled a knife out on me. <laughs> Originally, they were they were probably just gonna force me to drink it anyway. But once you pulled the knife out, like, okay, then now you have to now. Okay, now you're gonna, now you're trying to kill me. Now I have to kill you. Don't pull a knife out if you're not willing to use it. If you're not gonna use it. If I if I pulled my knife out, what do you think? What, what does that signal? All right. All what right. does that signal, Koi? Okay. I what does it signal, Koi? <laughs> I got gotcha. you. What does it signal, Koi? <laughs> that you're gonna what? Fight me. And if you're gonna fight me, I'm gonna kill you. So stop whining like a little bitch. Hey, we're fighting Darkspawn and about to go to war. So don't, so don't cry to me about, oh, I have a wife and child. You should have stayed with them then. If you didn't want to do this shit. It's not like nobody forced you to come here. You could have just stayed. And, then, and you, you know, you could have been happy. Of course, we would have probably, you know... We all, we're all still probably gonna die anyway, because the Dark Spawn are gonna just wreck our shit, Alistair. We're gonna die. Rex, if I don't if I don't survive, tell my I don't have a wife. Go out and make big pup big Mabari puppies, okay? <laughs> Can I break this? And I'm off. Alright. Wait, doesn't my lock bash work? Ah, great. Uh, 
So it's just me, Duncan, and Alistair, along with Rick. Well, Duncan's gonna be on the main battleground. We have to light a beacon, because we are working. Rick number So Duncan can hold out until we go like this beacon. And I'm totally lost. <laughs> I totally don't know where I am going. I guess I'm going across the across the bridge. Don't make a pun. Okay, I can't go that way. Big game lines for asks. Also a bridge. Were you more into first person or third person when you played Skyrim? Third person. I like to see my character. Mm. Um, I, 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 I kind of what I, what I'll do is I'll be in third person for the, like the gameplay and stuff, but for for like uh, interactions, I switch to first person. I kind of I kind of do that where I switch. It's like a switch. Switch me that coy. I'm ice. Of course it will. The blight ends here. The blight would not end here. It was at this moment they knew they fucked up. Get to work. Let's cross the, the tower right. of his show. All right, boys, are you with me? It's war time, baby. Ow! I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're good. Ow! Okay, I'm not okay this time. 
And they're dead. Oh god. Oh god. RUN! That's all that would come in. Enjoying the view? Move! I was trying to see the battle! They're everywhere. They've taken the tower. What do we do now? Let's see here. Okay, so we're supposed to light a beacon. To get to the tower. Got it. Okay, we can't go up here, so we're going up top. Let's go out, sir. Let's go. Got this. Dogs. Dogs spawn. I'm dead. Hello oh. there. We were just enjoying this lovely fireplace we were. Gonna be killing you now. Ow! I'd appreciate it if you'd stop biting me. Cut That's it. my own goal. I'm dead. Get a Alistair. My, boy, my, my pups can got. Ow. Bite your ass! Bite your penis off! Just on you. I don't even have. Ow, I'm dead. I'm dead. What? I hate this auto thing. Where I have to go everywhere. Like... Right. What is the dog in charge now? No, I'm alive. I was just, I was napping. Okay. I, I, I was napping. Because it kind of looked like you were crying. You will speak of this to no one. <laughs> Heroic offense is a Christie aptitude for battle. Uh, no, I'm going to, uh. I'm still a mage. I, I forget my head. I'm still a mage here. Good job, Rex. Alright. Good job, boy. Put it, put it. Sir! Sir, leave me alone! Sir! Excuse me, sir. If you ah! stop running, we'd like to sell you a fantastic new product. Fling! Fling! Oh, yeah. Okay, we're fine. Okay, where are they coming from on the top? Okay, there are some up there. So, okay, I'm assuming they're up here. I hate when they just, we just activate, we can't even see them. No, I, it was sounding a little jittery. I'd be just the rain. Well, now it's windy. Huh? Done.
boys. Traps. Ow! Trap! Good. Point! You killed my dog, man! You killed my dog! Point! Now die. Yeah! Did you see it? Did you see? What are you doing here? <laughs> That's not fair. No. Uh, let me put these also for him. Because I need to make sure Alistair has access to uh, potion as well. One foot is definitely. So he's good. Give me a long sword. I need a long sword because the little short ones aren't, aren't, aren't really helping me at this point. So I'm going to go with the long sword style. So this is my Rick Ray Warren's recruit armor. These are DLC, these are uh, modded by the way. Well, I am a mage, so. I'm supposed to hide in that a bit. Actually, I like that. Oh, keep it. Oh, yeah, it does it. Okay, it is. It is it. Okay. That's good. Okay, it, it works. See if they can handle this long sword style. Yes. What do you think, Clay? Long sword style! Kind of seems like you just got wrecked. I wasn't even getting my work into it. There we go. See? Who was getting wrecked? Ow. Okay, I got wrecked. But that was that was, it was already cracked. Slash attack! Boom! Fire! Boom! You see? This is, what we, this is how we do it. As long as you're not burning your own soldiers. Well, I can't burn them. Friendly fire's off. So I can't burn them. Tell that to the last guy! He wasn't a companion! But he was still a good guy! Huh. Was he really? He wanted to leave. I should have killed him too. <laughs> Just to shut you up. Just to shut you up. <laughs> Alright. 
got my recruit armor on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, get off it, you stupid chest! Get open! I love that mod! Is it flashing the chest open? Yeah, that's a mod, yeah. Guys, you need a skill. You need, you need to be like a, a lock pick. You need to pick locks to do it, but here I can just bash it open. Like, screw that! Bash this thing open. Huh. Let's go! Lightning! Feel the power. Alright. Yeah, miss. Okay, wolf, wolf, bitch! Wolf! <laughs> wolf, wolf! 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 You will feel the wrath of Rex. Yeah! Woof woof. So you can play as the dog. That's hilarious. That's amazing. Piggy's like, I'm gonna rampage for what they did. He wasn't my pet, he was my son. Make his breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Weren't you complaining that you wouldn't be able to fight them? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. But at least <laughs> we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyrone Loghain will be waiting for the signal. You have found a gift you can give it to your party members. I just put a mod that just lets me know what gifts I can give to my uh, uh, companions. So I don't know, like, oh, this gift is for this person. Which is very, just, it helps me sort through off all the crap. It makes it a lot easier. It's very helpful. I definitely suggest getting that if you're really, like, like, if you got a whole lot easier! I'm about to burn you. Burn, baby, burn. Every day. Burn, baby, burn. Every single way. Point! Point! Oh, they fall down. What's wrong? Do your little dark spawn legs don't work? <laughs> Well, they tested me, and we had to beat their asses. Just me, my comic relief, and my dog. <laughs> Ain't that right? Don't worry, you're a good boy, Alistair. Wait, did you just call Alistair the dog? What? <laughs> Took you a minute to catch on there, Steve. Oh, no, it's, 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 <laughs> ah! So is this a hate crime because I'm attacking the little dark spawn? I mean, there are dwarves in this place, so these could be like, uh, they probably hit the dwarves, and the dwarves, these are the dwarven dark spawns. Point! My arcane magic could not be stopped. I'm just stocking up my money for my potions. For my mind, and my money, and my money, and my mind. Everything's gonna be so fine. And I'm Hashtag dark squad lives matter. <laughs> no, they don't. The hell they don't. You know, if this were in modern day, how much you want to bet there would be a group like that? I will tell you this: they're not like the Geth. The, these guys are just evil. Just, just they, they aren't. They aren't misunderstood. They're in some tragic backstory. They just, they're, they just need to, like, like giant spiders. They just need to go. They, there's no reason for them to be around. They just need to go. Logan better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. We need to get to the... All right. Beacon, the king needs Loghain to charge. Okay. But, uh, before we do that, we'll just check out how cool I look. You know? What's up? 
I really, really want to dig, but this place is made out of like, like uh, marble, and uh, I can't do that at the moment. Oh, woof! <laughs> Where's the tavern? <laughs> ah, crap! I'm in court. Point. Slice the head off. Ah! Volcanium Sarcesium Zaza! Log Sword! Boom! Point! Bang! Slash! Of that Alice. That's what makes me. That's what makes it fantastic. Fantastic, bombastic, plastic. You know? Excuse, excuse me, Mom. The adventures of the slashy slash mage. <laughs> ah, what's going on here? I got an axe. I got an axe. Well, I found an axe. I found the Magic. It's something that Disney loves. Oh, but now he's going, he's, he's leveled up to a whole new power. He has the power! Point! Disrespect me! Oh, you're the alpha? I am the Omega! Ha-ha! Ha! Feel the lightning! Did you feel it? Was it in your soul? Oh, look, a wooden chest. You know what? Right. Mc chip, mc screw the chest! <laughs> Ooh, I found war paint for my... Uh, first of all, let me, let, me get, let me get my boy Rex up. Well, actually, I don't know. I found you war paint. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hey! Looking good, Rex, boy. Okay, so let's up his, uh, constitution. Looking good. Can I let them out? Damn, Rudy, is that you? Oh, <laughs> For the last time, my name is Rex. Damn, Rudy, you moved up in the world. Got you a strong master. Cordell, I ain't, uh, look, 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 I'm, yeah, it, it, it's, it's good, I'm, I'm enjoying my human, he treats me well, he treats me, damn, Rudy, you can help me out for old time's sake, Rudy? Let me think about that, uh, remember that time you didn't give me that, that cane? Oh, I'm sorry, Rudy. And you buried my favorite bone? And you ate nibbles? I thought it was a snack, Rudy. You know what? We leave it. Damn, Rudy, that's how you feel, Rudy? <laughs> I think oh, Rex. No I think Rex wants me to let them out. No, I, I don't. I'm bark, bark! Wolf! Wolf! Let's get on with it then. You're, you're right. We should let him out. There you go, buddy. Damn, Rudy! I'm free. Did you see that, Rudy? Oh dear God! I mean, wolf. <laughs> see? Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? I am totally gonna piss in your cereal later. Say, that, say something, boy. Nothing. I mean, woof. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Damn, Rudy. There we go. All right. Let's continue on. I like Holy crap! Slash. Ow! I love how everybody's smacking each other. You know what? You Yeah! Kia, bitch! Yes! Flex! Slash! Yeah. Oh, y'all gonna jump me! I can't get a one-on-one! -on -one. Man, dude, he's passionate! Flexus! Flexus! 
See what I mean? This is what we gotta go through, y'all, to get results. Okay. 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 Well, before we go in, can I just look through here real quick? Like, there's only two of them. Yes, can handle that. They, they got this. They, they can handle it. Let's get this lesser stuff. Alright. I'm about to say, I know my ass is to pull up. Hold on. Hold on, bruh. Filet. I'm about to, about to lighten your... Talk it up. Woof! Woof! <laughs> you will feel the wrath of Rudy. I mean, Rex. Did you talk? No, I mean... Woof! I could, mm. I could have sworn you said something. I must be going crazy! Anywho, let's get this thing open. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. no open. I'm going to make a message. Did you manage to find out why the YouTube side of the stream is taken down? It said I violated some rules and guidelines, which I didn't. YouTube's being a dick, basically. Long story short. Basically, they did to him what they did to Crossy. Which makes verbally no, just no sense at all. This game does not violate any rules. Otherwise, why allow us to have this on, on your, on your, uh... It says, Twitch didn't get me. And Twitch, you think, is more anal about this stuff. Than what they allow. Did you come up with that? Is no, that, 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 that that's Tony Baker. That's Tony Baker. Oh God! Remember that in Mass Effect, he was an Easter egg. Then we had him frozen. I doubt you guys remember that. Yeah. He's an Easter egg in Mass Effect. He's one. He was. He was a statue. One one of our companions, but... Glad we didn't have to see what he was, who or what he was eating. Uh, probably a human. This is an ogre dog. Oh, wait! Oh, he's resistant. So it's freezing ass. Hold on, get off my board! Oh, snap. Oh, Alistair. Oh, oh, oh snap. Alistair! My nomination! Oh god. Yeah! I guess you could say it's all ogre for him. Okay, die. Just die. No. <laughs> He's a treacherous dick. Pull out! All of you, let's move!
he is. Oh, he is dead. Because it would be worse for his alive. Hang on a sec, I gotta take this. Hello? And the king's dead too. We're, we're all just fucked, aren't we? Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. That's not close to revealing at all. I am Morrigan, but lest it's you not have revealing. forgotten. Uh, and I've we are in the wilds where I, I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though t'was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. I will stay and make something to eat. Blessed. Well, not really. Blessed are the only ones. Me and Alistar. Huh. Not all. Great! Just great. What's up for Bridge? What's up? See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Well, I'm not, thanks to uh, Morgan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? 
Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? We need to bring Loghain to judgment. Why would he do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Somewhere in the wild. Now that would be quite the feat. And what about everyone else? We can't let all their deaths be in vain. Aww. To have lost so much. It would be difficult not to cling to hope, however faint. You two have much in common. I can't do this on my own. We have to do something. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but... I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient to Winter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Al Eamon will vote for that. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. What about those trees when he gave us? See, there is a smart lad. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then? ready to be Grey Wardens. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <coughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I go with number three. Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If Technically, I am too. Help from us illegal mages, young man. Perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Good point. Wait. Good point. She could have just left Mother, him to die. This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. 
Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Hey, we need all the help we can get, my boy. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased. These two are, I swear, people. these two. Oh. And this, like I said, this is why I said this game really excels, where I really wish they would have did this more in Mass Effect. You get a lot more banter while in game. And these two have the most banter. <laughs> Thank you, Biggie, for the gifted sub, my man. I think I actually have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. Tell me about this village in the north. Tis a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Then you can substitute Alistair <laughs> for Alistair. <laughs> Right, my cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. From time to time, I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared, and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So... Yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. You won't right away. No. It takes time. 
We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. The squad is now together. Her, her and Alistair are gonna get along so well. Oh, they're gonna get along <laughs> perfectly. I gotta take a beer beat. He's gonna be fun. Okay, so with uh, Alistair here. Stealing skill. Bear traps could be good for him. I would say, uh. Increase his deck and swap. That's for his. Uh, he is a knight, so I would want him to have better shielding. Defense could work. Right, watch out for him. As for yours truly. Yours truly. I'm increasing that cunning. I need all of the cunning I can get. Actually, I don't need any more cunning. I'm much good here, so I don't need to increase any higher than it is. If that's the case, my strength. My constitution. Right. As for abilities. Alright team, let's do it! We're off to an adventure! Here we go. You know, proper save. And I'm off. Slimup's cop. Lothering. Actually the map is pretty uh pretty big, but we're gonna go. Here, 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 and here. And more will show up here. This is our camp. I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Teethen, please! 
Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? Great. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Hi, yeah. Preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. So you're two collected then. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Ah, should you charge more then? You want to pay more? Well, we'll happily accept donations. No, but a cavern following me has plenty of gold. Wouldn't such a caravan be... Well guarded? Not really. Guards kill my dark spawn. A whole caravan right for the picking. Go on, on your way. We've got work to do. <laughs> That's why I love my persuasion. Why I may try up my persuasion. So you just duped him. Yeah, pretty much. So now I can inform them that they're abandoned. So this is Lothering. Now, actually, now, this is where, um... Well, I'll there it is. Know. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. You've been very quiet, though. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Okay, well. We need to hear the news for we decide at this point, right? But we need to decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion, and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. As I was saying, this is where actually my the set, uh, Hawk's character will start. Uh, from uh, Dragon Age 2. Uh, Loldering. So that's kind of cool. I think I put a mod where Bethany, his sister, also... I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. Well, 
Just a bunch yes. of lovely guys. <laughs> Just a lovely little family we got here. So yeah, that'll be very cool. Um, for my main character. Yes. Let's try to remember this when we start Dragon Age 2. This is where it all begins for them. You there. <laughs> if you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Did you know about the bandits outside? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck, wherever you might go. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Possibly. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your <laughs> generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something? Hey, hey, I, hey, I am a noble. I got the cash. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Why not? <laughs> Would that be a good thing if I bought everything mm -hmm. up? You want to buy a rock? <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you encourage him to? Okay. Like these stuff I don't I, need. I'd rather that than big belly big. Please, please. Why, why did you even bring it up? I was I'm not gonna sell my good sh good stuff, but uh. I'm not much of the plotter. Mm. 
Sleeping Dogs. Uh, Alfred Lincoln. I'll keep these for finding the poisons. Now, let's see what they have in return. Oh, oh my goodness, they have to change with the man. My boy, stay in the man's in here, yeah, so we gotta do that. Oh, Morrigan, don't be too blind. The Charters are still operating their board. <laughs> How that dedication. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Indeed, you could learn the spells required if I cared to teach you. There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. No, tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Oh! You're simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the dust gather on us. Oh, this bridge. When it, uh, certain, there are certain segments in this game where you just know they're gonna talk. This bridge is one of them. Like usually when you meet a bridge, that's 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 when you. Um, and I'm off. Usually they spark a conversation. So and they have many. So naturally, just walk across this bridge every now and then, and a conversation will happen. Going. So I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail, I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? 
I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denham in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you'd like that. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I... like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Oh, oh, of course, how stupid of me to forget. Here I am going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. I'd like that. So would he, I think. <laughs> oh, I didn't add the pet animation. Because that's the reason why I wanted the modding, because you can't, like, it won't let you actually pet them. Which I should, I should just put in there. I'll, I'll put it in later. It's just a simple thing, you know? You think they would so put that in So, Gain is a new regent? Isn't yeah, that it's, a simple, it's just a little simple thing. I Why appreciate that he may have had something to do with the king's death. I thought dark Okay. So we have two companions we need to pick up here. Do I really want to do side missions? I feel like a How do that. dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! So we're just gonna end it. Stay the man! Mara de starit, Mara de twasit, a barn. Wait, is he already transformed? Mara You want one of my captors? He's already transformed! I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. That's weird. He shouldn't be transformed right now. He should be human and then evolve into that as the game progresses. Unless, because it hasn't been a year yet. I mean, not that I don't like it. I do like it. It's just, it's just weird that he's fully transformed now. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, for you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. <laughs> of course you Yes. Would. That's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden then? Yes, sir. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. 
Farewell then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered man is so afraid of him. Stan the man, as I call it. I gotta get Stan the man out. That's that's a tough cookie to crack. If you think if you think freaking Morgan's hard boiled, <laughs> you haven't met my man Stan here. He's like uh, like the Canary are like the Krogan. But they're but they're race like in the sense they like value like combat, but at the same time, they're more ambi ambiguities to the Krogan. That's not their only thing. Their culture is a little bit more uh, keep nuanced. Your voice down. Which is which is what I really like about the Canari. And I like their language. You are Das von Schall. Or Das von Shinedon. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen... Oh, the mod works for her! It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. There we go. These are no doubt. Liana, see, she got her hair like she did in the end. In the, uh, in the, in They're the, more than um, that. Cinematic. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar. Where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk. Take the warden. Alright, sure, sure. I, I, I'm going to kill this sister. I kind of want to kill him. Can I, can I kill him? I kind of right. want to kill him. Let's make this quick. You, you, do, you, do. you know what? Point. Whoever. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. But they failed, and I do not wish death on anyone. Tell him right away now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I have, uh, by the way, I have no idea who I'm going to romance. <laughs> One of the sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I actually have no idea. I'm probably gonna do Morgan, but I really want to do Liliana as well. <laughs> Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. Maybe I'll sleep with Liliana, but romance Morgan. Can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Maker told me to. The Maker? Well, walk the ball, then. <laughs> then you believe me? I knew the Maker had set a true dream, a vision that by serving you, I, I do love her backstory. Plan. Though I like her Perhaps backstory. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. I'm glad that Mod came in. She, I, I'm glad that she actually has her actual look. Rex, I want Rex. I want you to take a step back, okay, my boy. You need to rest. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Ha! All right, we're all good here. Now then, there's just so much to do. But I think I'll just require Stan that we'll end it here. Because uh, I kind of want to cook the tacos after. 
Because you want. Mm. Plus, I kind of want to play Fortnite. You guys have Fortnite? Wait. Uh, maybe. <laughs> That's because we're, we're, we're doing a long gameplay. Once, once we're done, it'll be alright. So basically, we're just, let's just get Stan, do that little you thing, and then we'll end there. Tonight. Plus, this is honestly our OG squad right here. This is OG squad. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. All right, let's go across the bridge. See what, what competition we'll get. So let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister. You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Uh, you never know, right? I... no. I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. <laughs> It'd be fun if they did it like a weird, like, Bioware verse crossover where every Bioware game gets a crossover with their friggin' Shepherd meeting of uh, the Lord and all that stuff. Oh, because that's space stuff, this is medieval stuff. <laughs> hey, yeah. Pretty interesting, though. <laughs> The blade. Okay. Um. Why is why is Evelyn's uh, model of dark spawn like that? No sign of the main hall. Oh God. We are the she only hope not... of protection this village has. That mod did not mod well. <laughs> I, I see. I see. Uh, May the maker have mercy. Um, Sir Wesley, but hers did not come in well. I gotta look that up. Apostate, keep your distance. I have not come to attack you. Were that the case, we would already be fighting. Okay, so he's here. Okay. Again, these are characters that will be in part two. Why the hell does that look? We will be fine. We all will. I like how our fuckles came in, though. Has anyone seen my scalp? Seriously, what the hell, <laughs> Emily? I gotta come back to this. She showed up right in the, uh, in the, lat in the other one. Then again, this is a whole different mod, so. I'll fix it later and we'll have a good conversation with her. I see you have returned, oh, sister. I thought you had left the Chantry for good. I have, Sir Bryant. And who is the gentleman with you, if I might ask? I am a bridge of the Grey Wardens. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. The Grey Wardens did no such thing. You claimed that we are responsible. And set a bounty on any who survived. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? <laughs> they robbed me. I demand compensation! <laughs> I will not let them take any more advantage of this catastrophe. Savaral, those fool bandits have returned. Take some men and drive them off and see if you can't capture that leader of theirs this time. As you command, Sir Bright. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. You can ask the revered mother. 
I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Payan Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but be right he back. is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. And when the Maker spoke, chant of love. Good day, Sister Leniana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Might I suggest 30 silver? Thank you, my son. What can I do for you then? A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. What do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Damn shame that they did my girl. I've been like that. I'll fix it when I come back, I promise. We'll get that head on your street. <laughs> why did that why did that mess up? Then again, I had trouble with just her last one. I'll go through the requirements and see what the heck was going on there. That that was that was hard to look at for her. <laughs> and I like Aveline. I like Aveline a lot, though. She's like like She's very, she's a strong woman, uh, like uh, Morgan, but also soft like uh, Liliana as well. Y'all better stop that bullshit, Koi X girl. That's gross. We had to know that was coming. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. 
You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. You know, technically, also, we're legal, too, at this point. I think we're all legal. We're all a bunch of legal! You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the Blight. So it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. I gotta get him armor. All right, so let's. We'll keep set out for a while because I have use for him later. Actually. Blood and damnation. <laughs> I love they get angry when you take them out. Yes. Like, yeah, they're very pissed when you take them out. Watch. Blast and damnation. Oh, blast it. <laughs> Vashadan. Hey! Language! Indeed. Yes. Yes. Okay, so if we stand the man. My man stand. My main man stand. I need. I need. Gotta give you some cool ass armor. I think I have some leftover uh, grade one recruiting armor. That would work well for him. Now he's definitely a heavy, a heavy user. I love how his arm is invisible if I don't put the... Why is his arm invisible? Can you not wear the armor? Maybe he needs bigger armor. Or heavier armor. Oh god! <laughs> That's weird! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! That was weird. Twenty twelve was one like well Inquisition came out in twenty fourteen, Dragon Age two again a whole year later. That should tell you how much time they had. Or Origins came out in 09 and then Dragon Age two came out in ten, and then Inquisition came out in fourteen. Notice the little time the little gap they had to make that game. Like it had no it should have been out by at least twenty eleven or twenty twelve. To at least compete with uh, Dragon Age, Mass Effect Three, but they had, they had no business having that game out so early, and it suffered for it. It's very weird that look that his arm goes through it, like half his body. I guess it can't. Hit. I guess it's just not built for him. Let's just go with the, with the basic. That should do. Uh, big, big old sword. Sword. Swinging a sword. Let's go fight some spiders. They're over here. And they're, and they're nasty. Bandits! Thieves! Wait! Carpentric!
Or stand traps click bigger. With this guy, he'll do the heavy slide. Nah, where you running from? Now keep that same energy, play boy. Keep that same energy. Okay, so. My boy Stan the man needs a little short. Big boy sword. He's a big, hmm? he's a big boy. Alright, so there are spiders over here. See also be prepared, okay? What is that? God, they're huge. Why are they so big? Okay. Kill them guys! Don't let them touch me! Ah! Don't come after me! <laughs> ew! 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 Attack them, you fools! Badass spider too. Get a big stand, the man. My boy, stand the man. Yeah. I see. See, stand. He ain't scared of no big ass spider. He, man, bring their asses here. Oh God! The guy. Oh God! Help! I know, that's why I like, god, they're detailed too. That makes it so. dull, but so damn detailed. Like, look how, look how they, you can see their eyes when you kill them too. Ugh. That's just. Ugh. I hate how they come down too, like, like, right now you're seeing them in the open, but in like, the caverns and like, old lore areas, they like drop down with that. Like, come on. It's already bad enough I gotta go up to them. But we did it, y'all. We did it! What, y'all want some? Huh? You ain't my dog, Rick. I don't know you! Rawr! Rawr! Look at people playing video games on their Xbox! Point! Damn, Rudy! Thank you, Rudy! I feel like Coin is no one. Nah, but it was still funny. Yeah, well, 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 that's an ongoing gag, though. So I can't show you one video, it's like multiple videos. On... We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Time for oh, practice. you're gonna die. You can't be fed if you're, if you're dead. Just I mean, the corpses could feed hungry people. People don't like cannibals in this way. Call me Goku! Cause uh like I call me cooler because I always make him go ice. Ice, ice, Really? And now your corpses will feed it. See? They all fed now. Chasing. This is me too, Jill. What do you wish of me? Oh, sorry about that. I should actually refer to my phone. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. Actually, hold on. There's really nothing there, actually. Hello. Stranger, I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. I believe Liliana can make traps. traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Jeez. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Again, I believe Liliana can do that. Um, 
Vashadan. Indeed. A lean harvest and so many I mouths. Guess, I food. guess once you deny it, you can't go back in. They say your Oof. mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kakari Wars. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right, and they are right in this. You know the stories about. Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, <laughs> using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... Um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Your mama wild, though. <laughs> Your mama wild. <laughs> now, baby. Hi! It's good that you're going to that, that I bang so many men that I killed them in their sleep and took the crap. And when you come to come of age, you gotta do the same. Note to self. Don't let Morgan touch my shit. <laughs> Be right back. Yes. Let's do this. I gotta. I want to save by the camp. Be fun. Okay, so I, eh, I already have a, a good chunk, so I'll be okay. It's Storm just. Thorpony says hi, abridged you monkey cow. What? Thorpony says hi, abridged you monkey cow. That's racist. <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna deal with that. Just ignore. It's not fair. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Very nearly, Sir Donald. May I introduce my fellow Grey Warden? We are the last two in Ferelden, as far as I know. Terrible news indeed. But I'm glad to meet you, good sir. Might I know your name? I trust you are staying discreet, with the bounty placed on your heads. We've heard Logain's accusations, but he's the one who betrayed the king. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Logain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Logain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. If Arl Eamon were well, I have little doubt he would assist you. My quest, however, remains the same. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Let us go.
Okay, what I miss? Oh, nothing. We're just uh, leaving. We're leaving a little bit. No, YouTube took his stream down. where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? <coughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> Kids, stop fighting. This is what I have to deal with, guys. This is my life. Being a parent to these children. Hey, Dan, this is some sort of community violation. Hey, yep. What it is, I do not know. I didn't know playing a video game was a violation. Did you see L? You know this place will be overrun by the darkspawn soon. My what? If we go, I've, I, I we must have. Able to come clearly, back. the cutscenes are so bad. Someone help us! Hey, it's those two guys. I like them. Don't you touch them? Enchantments! Carpentry! Yeah! Burn! Okay, I'm not accurate with that, so I'm gonna... Smash it! Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. And Say hello, my boy. Hello. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wounds. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, pal. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess clear. Perhaps I shouldn't have said nothing, because I, I can actually use their wares with him to handle. Hold on. I can use them. I'm not gonna say that. Enchantments! <laughs> hey, don't judge me. I need enchantments. <laughs> You know what? I should. Give me a sec. So we'll save it here, actually. So I can do, I can do some things here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll just, I'll just end it here.
Alright guys, we will end it here. This is a good this is a good stopping point anyway. Um Okay, so again I apologize for you know my other side. So I I, I don't know. I'll probably again this will be up on the YouTube side, obviously, once this is done downloading. But any hoosies. Um yeah, thank you so much for joining. I can uh, send you all to Mooney, I guess. Uh, I'm just sitting there to support Mooney, not the game she's playing. Um, um, here you guys go. Oh, yeah, she's she's playing Last of Us Part 2, huh? Yeah, anyway, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah. Take care, guys. Bye bye Bye. I like how I'm braided with a party of 15, but it says I only have 12 people in there. What the hell? There you go. Alrighty, I shall Nine return. Two. I need to go check the mail.